In this section, we are going to uh, introduce you to dimensions in Revit, um, any discipline here. And dimensions are an annotative object. You can dimension in 3D. It's not really necessarily the best example, but in normal, you know, kind of flat views, floor plans, elevations, sections, and stuff like that, you can add um, annotative dimensions in. We've got different dimension types. So if we go to our annotation tab here in our ribbon, we can actually grab this guy because we're going to use it. Just kind of pull it down. Okay, there's some dimension settings inside of here um, where that you can set up different dimension types. So you can predetermine your how the look and feel of each dimension type by just clicking on one of these. These are types. Don't get these mixed up with these. These are actual dimension. I don't know what you call it. Dimension. Um, styles, I suppose. These are more like styles. These are more like dimension types, but we're going to go over these, but you can see linear, angular, radial, dimension, spot. So these guys are represented inside of here. So these are kind of the dimension styles. These are the settings. So let's start with this one. We say align dimension. You just click on it and, you know, you can just pick on, um, in this case, I just picked some grid lines. Okay to place it. If you pick the grid line a second time, it removes it. Okay, so you can click on the different edges. Okay, and you have to be careful when you go to place it. You don't want to pick something. You want to pick nothing. You want to position it and then do a final click. And now we're back into dimensioning again. And we can dimension from here to here to here, wherever we want, slide it, and then go into an empty space and click. If you can't find an empty space, find one and then go after the fact and then maybe grab this and move it depending on how you have your selection sets uh, down inside of here. So this is your typical aligned dimension and you can also tab to pick different edges when you do any type of dimension. So if I hover over here, I can go tab on the keyboard, tab, tab until I see a point, click, and then I can go down to here, tab, 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 till I see a point and then I can place an aligned dimension along there as well. Okay, so using your tab key, you can tab through all the different points um, that are around a door or a wall or a beam or anything, okay? An aligned dimension is always kind of vertical or horizontal. So what you do is, for instance, tab to say, pick a point there, and then maybe tab to pick a point down here, and then it's either gonna go horizontally or depending on where I drag, like horizontal this way or vertical. So an aligned dimension, same thing, you pick your tab button, but it's always going to be horizontal or vertical. Angular dimensions, you pick on here. What you do is you pick an edge and then you pick another edge and then you move your mouse, slide it wherever you want and then place it. Escape, escape. After you place your dimension, you can just pick on here. And then if you have your um, press and drag on, which is this one here, then you can just grab this and pull it over to a different place. You can grab your grip and you can move your number around. You can slide this um, up, okay? And then of course you can delete it. Same as with any other dimension. You can pick on here. If you grab the line and drag it, oh, if you double click it, um, you can actually go in and replace it with some text, but you can drag this guy down. And if you want to relocate it, you can grab this point and then you can drag that to another location, say over here. Okay, so this one lets you move the witness line. This moves the dimension line. Same as with this guy. You want to edit it after the fact. You say edit witness line. And then I can say, oh, never mind. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. Oh, wait, I want this one. I change my mind. When you're done, you click nothing. Click, and then you're done. Escape, escape. Make sure you click nothing or else it'll undo what you did. Okay, so we have different grips that we can see. You can zoom in after you pick on the dimension. You can grab it. Okay, then you can just take this guy and you can drag it over to another point. Click and it'll move it. Take this boy, uh, point and drag it over to there. Okay, so you've got that and you've got this number that you can move around. Okay, um, that's about it. 